Hello there, this is week one, and this week's topic is going to be on the Grant Administration. Now, the Grant Administration is very interesting, um, because it is filled with, um, it started out with high hopes and high promises, and it ended just miserably. And I'm going to go over just some of the key factors of the Grant years, like, you know, election 1868, Election of 1872, and what exactly happened during Grant's first term and second term, and how it went kind of downfall for Grant, basically. So anyway, um, we'll begin with the election of 1868. In the election of 1868, um, the Republican Party wants to nominate a war hero. They are, um, at this point a little bit annoyed with Andrew Johnson who um, even though he's a Democrat he runs in 1864 with Lincoln before Lincoln's assassination under the Unionist Party and after Lincoln is assassinated um, Andrew Johnson basically um, uh, is not a good president basically. And um, neither party wants him though. Not even his own Democratic Party wants him. Um, after the Republican Party nominated Grant in 1868, President Johnson tries to grab the Democratic nomination, but his own party turns against him and they nominate New York Governor um, Horatio Seymour. Um, in electoral college terms, um, extremely bad for the Democrats, very good for the Republicans. Um, because Grant is a war hero, um, and a very respectable war hero, and very popular, um, he wins with 214 electoral votes out of 294 at the time, and Seymour only gets 80 electoral votes out of 294. So, um, he's you can tell that Grant is very popular this time, since he gets more than 12 votes than Seymour. He even um, swipes Seymour in the popular vote as well. Um, as far as the first term, this is when the scandals um, start, basically, and when he starts to get corrupted. Um, there is one affair during his first term um, from 1869-1872 called the Santo Domingo Affair. Um, in this affair, um, President Grant wants to annex um, Santo Domingo, the modern-day Dominican Republic, to the United States. Um, the only problem is um, the United States Senate kicks it down. Now, why does the United States Senate kick it down? because Grant wants to use um, Santo Domingo for the government's own purpose um, and own gain, own political gain. Now, another thing that really hurt Grant in his first um, term is basically the term the Good Old Boys Club. Um, basically, he appointed um, old cronies, old friends from war departments, and, you know, old friends, um, relative friends, um, relatives of friends, basically, to his cabinet and to high government positions. Um, and this is why I say it's the good old boys club, because he's hiring people that he knows and that you know, hey, you scratch, I'll scratch your back if you scratch my back, basically, you know. Um, they're kept in the government, of course. Um, and now we go to the election of 1872. In 1872, um, Grant wants to be um, renominated, and the Republicans, for some reason, um, unanimously renominate him into um, the race. 
Um, the Democrats, however, they go with um, Horace Greeley. Um, he's, well, uh, let's see, I think he might be a New York poll. Um, let's see. Um, I might be mistaken about Greeley, but um, I think he was like a high um, newspaper editor or something. Um, I might be wrong with that, but anyway, um, the Democrats go with Horace Greeley, and um, he actually does worse than Seymour did in 1868. Um, the Electoral College in 1872 um, there's 352 electoral votes in total. Um, out of those 352, Grant wins 286, and and Greeley only wins 66. That's less than Seymour won in 1868. Um, even though Grant won um, re-election by a high amount of votes and a high amount of electoral votes, um, it all goes downhill after 1872. Um, the second term of Grant is held with extreme corruption. Um, there's some good in it, but there's also some corruption in it. And even though Grant is not um, generally associated with it, um, his political connections tie him to those scandals and those corruptions. Um, in his second term, um, it is discovered that a lot of Gra Grant's cabinet members, who he blindly trusted, um, were involved in a lot of sc scandals, and not just your regular scandals, but federal scandals. Um, one of these scandals is the Credit Mobile scandal. Um, in it, the U.S. government, um, hired a French company to build the Union Pacific Railroad. Um, the French company gave the stock, um, the French company then used this company to buy, to give away stocks, basically. Um, and it not only gave that stock to normal American citizens, but it also handed out stocks um, to government officials as bribes, like um, as I said before, you scratch your back, I'll scratch my back, you know, um, take this money and either don't say anything or, you know, take this money and support us and you'll just keep getting more money from us. Um, another, um, corruption scandal besides the Credit Mobile was the Whiskey Ring. Um, on top of the Credit Mobile scandal, um, Grand Stats were also taking bribes um, from stillers, basically, um, basically a moonshiner, basically, um, stillers, um, they didn't want to get taxed for their stills, so if they just, you know, hand some money over to grant staff, then they can just look the other way and say, oh, we saw nothing, we don't know anything, and they can just kindly continue on their way. Um, another... Um, corruption of the Grant scandal, I mean, of the Grant years, I should say, um, was the Indian Ring. Um, this um, was on appointees to um, Native American reservations at the time. Um, the government would appoint um, people to um, take care of these Native American reservations and they would get so much money from the government every year to support that reservation. Now the only problem was um, the appointees of the reservations, um, when they got the federal money for the reservation, they just looked the other way and put it in their pocket. And the money didn't go towards the reservation at all, and if the money did go towards the reservation, very little of it went towards the reservation and just went into their own pockets. Um, and in this case, the reason why it's tied to Grant is because federal cash was given to those Native American reservations to support them. And if you don't have any records of the federal cash given to help reservations, actually helping reservations, then there's something wrong. 
Um, another big um, problem that really hurt the Grant um, administration was the economic panic of 1873. This is um, the year after Grant wins the election in 1872. Um, what happens is the overextension on railroad stocks um, causes the U.S. market to basically crash into, no into nothing. Um, and um, banks, as they have done now, nowadays, um, they just print more money because they think that's the solution. And as we know, more money creates inflation, and inflation makes our currency useless, which is what they did in 1873. They basically um, hyped up print and made the dollar basically useless. Um, even though there were a lot of bad things with the Grant scandal, um, there were some good things though. Um, Grant successfully crushes the Klan, the KKK, um, during his administration. And he successfully crushes it to where the Klan will not rise again in the South until the 1850s, 1860s. So um, he's credited for that. That's one good thing about his administration. Um, another good thing is Grant's two Secretary of States. Um, the first is William Seward. Um, Seward is a leftover from the Lincoln administration. Um, he buys um, the modern day state Alaska from the Russian Tsar um, for $7.2 million. Um, however, um, Americans at this time don't see how Alaska could be useful. Um, Seward is mocked. It's known as Seward's Folly, Seward's Iceberg. You know, it's just basically mocked. It's not until years later until um, oil was discovered off the coast of Alaska um, when the Alaskan purchase sees its potential and its value and basically is not mocked anymore. Um, another one of Grant's Secretary of States is Hamilton Fish. Now, the reason why Hamilton Fish is so important um, is because he settles a dispute with Britain over Confederate warships. Um, during the Civil War, Britain helped the Confederacy with warships, and they basically want their dues back, basically. And um, this could have made an international war with Britain, and we could have easily gone to war with Britain in the 1870s over this um, problem. Now, um, because Hamilton Fish was sent to um, solve this problem, he did solve it, and um, he basically avoids a potential war with um, Great Britain at the time. Um, so anyway, those are basically the key factors um, of the Grant years. Um, you know, basically the San Domingo affair, um, the corruption scandals, especially the corruption scandals, um, those are the, the main important um, issues and events of the Grant administration from 1869 to 1877. So anyway, um, that's basically it for week one, and I will hopefully have a much better topic um, week two.